Our athletes are always told they can't. The Special Olympics is the place they come to be told they can. Welcome to our 2 p.m. broadcast. Uh, I do, before I jump into this, want to give a, a special shout out to uh, a great guy named Mikey Tolvo from the Boston Bruins. Uh, he volunteered his time to put together all the highlight packages uh, that you'll see uh, on this show, on the 12 o'clock show we already did, and also later on at 4 o'clock. Um, also, a big, uh, huge round of applause to the marketing communications team at Special Olympics Massachusetts. Uh, Amanda Garner put together all these videos. Uh, Catherine Twing helps out with all of our social, helps write scripts. Uh, so this was this was a huge team effort, and obviously the sports team uh, over over at Special Olympics Massachusetts developed this whole platform for you guys to uh, to compete and all the challenges and uh, and submit it all. The operations team for um, uh, for for collecting all that information and, and making sure that everybody uh, got shouted out in our honor roll, which will be scrolling down the bottom uh, the whole time. Uh, make sure you check it out. Look for your name. You can pause it, take a screenshot. Uh, but uh, but anyway, just big, huge thanks to everybody who worked on virtual summer games uh, at the at the Special Olympics level, uh, as well as, well as uh, with our volunteers. Yep. And of course, for everybody who uh, came to our 2 p.m. broadcast and all, if in case you guys uh, have missed our, our 12 o'clock broadcast where we had uh, talked about some of the first events that we did, you can find it on Facebook and YouTube. But in the meantime, why don't we take a look back at some of those incredible performances and in those tent, no challenges, including the 10 meter. We also got the 50 meter and the hundred meter run, run, walk and roll. So what will you think we'll be seeing this afternoon, Charles? This afternoon we'll be seeing the squats, push-ups, tennis ball throw. And I think this is the one I'm looking forward to the most, the tennis ball bounce on the racket. Let's see who could do it the most times. I, 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 I didn't try it myself, but it looked a little harder than something I was ready to, to, to practice for. So uh, we did receive uh, over 300 athlete submissions for these challenges. So thank you very much uh, for, for all the athletes who participated. Wow, 300. I, I got to say, I mean, I want to congratulate all those athletes and thank you to all of you that participated and then, and then sent your results, pictures and videos, et cetera. That is unbelievable, 300 views. I almost have a heart attack right now because of that. <laughs> cool. And before we jump into it, I do just want to uh, remember to thank our partners and our sponsors who have made this broadcast and this whole virtual summer games thing possible. Uh, our Bella Insurance, Bank of America, Geico, the Boston Bruins Foundation, uh, the New England Revolution, a 98.5, the Sports Hub, amongst many, many others. We've had hours of volunteer work. Uh, you know, we've got, got friends from all across the state who helped make this happen so thank you so much to our partners yes i mean thank you to everyone who managed to participate as well as the coaches the volunteers and family members who helped make our athletes compete in these challenges and submit the results and all that so uh, are you ready for the squat challenge you have no idea charles let's take a look at it. i am so ready pumped and pumped up for it Coach of Cape Ann Special Olympics, I'd like to thank you for your dedication to our community and now to hear from some of our athletes showing their appreciation 
for all you do. Your hard work and dedication to keeping every one of us safe and healthy. Because of partners like you in the bioball community, we are going to get through this and be better than every ever. Thank you for your support. Tech companies, thank you for fighting for us off the court so that we can get back on the way. And I appreciate all you guys do. Thank you. Thank you for working so hard to keep us safe and healthy. On behalf of one of the members of the Wareham program in Special Olympics, I would just like to say a quick shout out and a quick thank you to all the biotech companies out there for all that you guys are doing. You guys are putting your lives on the line and trying to cure this coronavirus and your diligence and your hard work is truly amazing and it's not going unnoticed at all. It's, it's incredible. We appreciate you and your dedication. Time to support you since all the times you supported us. I hope you can be safe during this time period. We want to thank you, everyone in the Bob Tech industry for working so hard to keep us safe. Thank you. Thank you for working so hard to keep us safe and healthy. We appreciate you and your dedication. Well, this year is different. We will run again, swim again, play again, compete again, jump again. Because we are resilient, we are brave, we are strong, and no matter if we are together or apart, we're on a team. Thank you for what you guys are doing to, for us to have my ball this year. But just remember that next year will come faster than we think. This is truly an amazing organization to be a part of, not only as a parent of an athlete and a unified partner, but as a coach. Thank you, Bob Ball. Hey, thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all. We very much thank you from the bottom of our hearts. What an awesome message from uh, from so many athletes to the biotech companies that participate in BioBall each year. Uh, the BioBall program has grown year after year and now raises hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to support uh, Special Olympics athletes in, uh, in sports and competition and, and, and everything we do here in the state. So a big shout out to the folks over at BioBall. Um, obviously, a number of them are working on uh, on treatments, as, as one of the athletes remarked, to uh, to combat the uh, coronavirus. Uh, and so thank you, thank you, thank you to the biotech companies. Um, also, I just love basketball. And uh, I know, Mike, you've, you've had a chance to play some basketball with Special Olympics in other places. What, what, uh, what team do you play on? Um, well, the team that I recently played for was the, uh, in the Nativity School of Worcester. And it was actually two teams that we actually had over there. But one of the teams I played for was coached by uh, – my former basketball coach, and a shout out to uh, Nancy Merritt Bates, who uh, was our first basketball coach. And then, of course, um, I know I forgot our, our second basketball coach, but Lauren Hopper. I want to give you a personal shout out and to all my teammates that I've been with uh, in special with basketball. I mean, you guys have obviously been the best group, and I wish I could really play with you guys again someday. So, uh, yeah, I mean, playing out of Auburn, it's always a great town, especially connected to Worcester and all. So, it's, uh, I got to say, it's, it's awesome. Very cool, Mike. Very, very cool. Uh, so I know you play basketball, you've bowled, you've done a bunch of other sports with Special Olympics. What have you been doing to stay busy uh, while we've all been kind of uh, social distancing and, and sheltering at home? What have you been up to? Uh, some, of the things, some of the things I do whenever, you know, I'm either uh, just some reading some books to keep my brain sharp and all that. But some of the things I do whenever I feel like I'm up to it. I go for walks or do some, some 5K running almost every day, about every other day. Um, so just do my best to help me stay active, both uh, physically and mentally, which is a good thing. Uh, but since I got to my part, how about you, Charles? Yeah, I mean, same kind of stuff. Been doing some walking. Uh, we try to walk every day. I've uh, been trying to get out for a run <clears throat> at least once a week just to, just to get the blood flowing. Uh, but also, like you, like you said, get your, get your head in a good place. You know, exercise definitely helps there. So um uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh to do more teamwork in the near future but for the moment uh definitely good to stay active however you can 
Yeah, I mean, it is, it is important to stay active because we know we got to be ready to compete whenever it's safe and we can hold people in competitions again. Uh, but in the meantime, we can check out, you can also check out uh, healthy tips that are made by Anne Galoo Victor, who, who is on Know What It's Like, How We Can Stay Healthy and Everything. So, uh, Anne, why don't we go to you next? Hi, athletes. Ann Golub Victor here. I'm the clinic director for the Fun Fitness Screenings, and on behalf of the whole team, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I won't be able to see you this year at the Fun Fitness Screenings, but I want you to remember to stay active, keep that heart pumping, be sure to do your daily stretches to stay flexible, and to make sure you are staying strong. And if you have any issues with any of these areas, Talk to your coach, talk to your family. It might be a really good time to see a physical therapist who can give you some specific exercises to get you back in shape and ready for your sport. So again, stay healthy, stay active, and we miss you and hope to see you soon. Now another Special Olympics trivia question brought to you by GEICO Insurance. GEICO is a longtime sponsor of Special Olympics Massachusetts and a sponsor of the 2020 Virtual Summer Games. Catherine Twang. I'm the Digital and Events Engagement Coordinator for Special Olympics Massachusetts and today I'm interviewing Daniel O'Donnell about his participation in virtual summer games. So please tell me your name and what Special Olympics team you compete with. My name is Daniel O'Donnell and I'm participating in the Brookline Recreation Chapter. That's great and how long have you been competing in Special Olympics? Over 10 years. Wow that's a long time. So why did you choose to compete in Special Olympics Virtual Summer Games this year? Because it's a lot of fun and I'm so lucky to be part of this amazing program. What are your goals for future Special Olympics events? I'd like to be part of, I like, I'd like to be the President and CEO of Special Olympics Massachusetts and I want to continue to be, to attend Special Olympics events for as many as possible. Wow, that's an impressive goal. In addition to Special Olympics, what other activities do you enjoy? I love participating in Zoom calls such as virtual dances and, vir and virtual campfires. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of Zoom calls myself lately. So do you have any advice for fellow athletes during this time? Stay safe, stay, he stay healthy, stay strong and we will get back on the playing field soon. Thanks, Daniel. It's great talking with you. Can't wait to see you at an event real soon.
congratulations to all you athletes on your hard work. Keep it up. All right, and thank you to Geico. And of course, I like to say the the, the phrase again: fifteen any uh any type of way can save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. <laughs> Sorry about that, but anyways, awesome. Charles, back to you. I mean, did you even see Giorgio Palmer when he went onto a local track and did his push up challenge? I mean, that's a great way to get out of the house and try to enjoy the warm weather as long as you can while keeping your distance and all for socializing as well as wearing a mask. I mean, I'm blown away by that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Great way to take advantage of the warm weather. Um, I, I guess I've been getting out there trying to, like, like I said earlier, trying to do some walks, trying to uh, trying to stay as active as I can. But uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. If, I guess my favorite season is probably fall because when it gets too hot, I get too hot. So what about you, Mike? What's your favorite season? Um, it's mostly going to be fall and everything, but one of my favorite seasons I do enjoy, besides being a, um, a uh, special assistant football coach, shout out to my head coach, Jeff Cormier and the staff over at Auburn High, but also think another part of Auburn High that I enjoy, especially one other fa- favorite season I do enjoy coaching with, is the spring track and field season. I mean, I do enjoy every minute of that, and uh, being alongside assistant coach with Claire Swenson and Katie Gerlitz, shout out to you both. Um, <laughs> it's awesome to be on this track and field team. Again, I was a little bummed that we didn't have it this season because of the whole virus broke out and everything. And uh, but in the end, we had a pretty, I bet we would have had a very impressive season this year because we had a great squad. I would have been so thrilled to have a good amount of shot put throwers, especially Elise Whitmore. I hope you're doing well. And uh, so uh, it's it's got to be it's definitely a great season. I do love track and field, especially doing some football coaching as well. Awesome. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, these challenges have been great because they really uh, can be used to train and practice and, and stay stay ready to compete in so many different sports, uh, including track and field. Um, and this next one is it, it comes to us from our one of our field events. This next challenge was the tennis ball throw. So let's take a look at the tennis ball throw and see how everybody did. This has been such a great day already. Mike, what other challenges are you looking forward to seeing? Well, I think the one thing I'm looking forward to in our next cha- in our next one, uh, the shuttle runs is definitely one I'm looking forward to. It'll be part of our 4 o'clock broadcast that's going to come up. So I know some athletes can be super fast, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. Awesome. Yeah, the 4 o'clock show is going to be great. We'll also be uh, taking a look at the standing long jump, the vertical jump, and the plank challenges. So – be sure, be sure to tune in. You can check us right here if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. Um, be, sure to, be sure to tune in at 4 o'clock. It'll be awesome. Yep, but in the meantime, before we get anywhere to see those, we want to be able to see our competitors do in the tennis ball bounce on a racket. Let's see if we can take a look at some of those highlights.
My goodness. <laughs> My goodness, Charles. I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't know what else to say here. <laughs> that was pretty impressive, huh? Yes, it definitely was. That was very, very impressive. Yeah, I think it looked like uh, – I'm going to give a shout-out to my boy Sam Spinney uh, coming to us from Newburyport. It looks like he might have broken a personal record. I don't know. Uh, Sam, you'll have to get back to me on that. Um, yeah, I mean, but we'll have to I'll, check the record books. That's right. And uh, <laughs> just a shout-out to Sam. Uh, Sam's also going to be competing in the, uh, the New England Revolution Unified team this year. Uh, they, too, will be going to a virtual model, but, uh, but just wanted to give a, a plug for the New England Revolution and their Unified team. They've been committed to us for – now I think we're going on about our sixth year in this program. So uh, thanks to the Spinnies and thanks to uh, the New England Revs. Yes, I mean, I can't wait to see what our athletes are going to do when we show them in the final challenges, which will come up at 4 o'clock uh, this evening. So thank you, for, thank you for that, Charles. So, Yeah, join us back here at 4 o'clock to see the final challenges, as well as some healthy athlete tips, uh, interviews, and more. Until then, I am Charles. I will actually – sorry, Mike, I'm going to give you the last word, but I do want to say one more shout-out to our partners – uh, over there at Bank of America, Arbella Insurance, uh, the New England Revolution, the Boston Bruins Foundation, uh, the folks over there at Deloitte, um, and of course our 2020 virtual summer game sponsors, Geico, and, uh, and a great media partner that we've signed on with this year, 98.5 The Sports Hub. So thank you guys. Yep. So on behalf of that, on behalf of Charles and Mike, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you at our 4 o'clock broadcast.